Uh, Cleveland Center, it's TBM Charlie Golf X-Ray India India climbing through 11,000 for flight level 230. TBM Charlie Golf X-Ray India India Cleveland Center. You said it's wrong again. What I do? You said climbing through 11,000 for 230. Four Just, is a number. Yeah, okay. So the whole flight will be on autopilot. The objective is not to get you to run a hunt and hand fly. The objective is to get you to go through a, an I-5 flight from beginning to end, doing all the radios, doing all the programming. Uh, Tao from the Charlie Golf next day in the India. We seem to have a loss of GPS integrity over here. I'd like to uh, return to the airport and land. Adding to the learning today, things did not go entirely smoothly. I think it's good. I don't know. Uh, I think it's interesting. Uh, it's more interesting when things don't go as planned and you have to adapt. If you've been paying attention to the IFR status vlog, this one kind of comes full circle flying the same airplane with the same mentor pilot from the first one. Macho Brown, it's TBM, Charlie Golf, X-Ray, India, India, looking for IFR to Kilo Golf, Oscar, November. Golf, X-Ray, India, India, ground clear to the Kilo Golf, Oscar, November airport. Oscar 3 departure, flight plan rate, squawk 2264. Okay, we're clear to Kilo Golf, Oscar, November, as filed. It's going to be the Oshawa 3 departure. We're squawking 2264 for Charlie Golf, X-Ray, India, India. Golf, X-Ray, India, India, ground rate by correct advice, ready to touch. I threw this counter in the corner when debriefing to help try to break a really bad habit. That's kind of the whole point of the IFR status vlog is to sort of follow along while I try to get through this rating, while also trying to deal with the very real distractions of producing all the other content that I'm making with the channel. So now we'll beam the flight plan from my iPad. We click on here, panel, and we get it over here. We push enter, verify that's the route that we're expecting, and activate. So I guess first off, we're going to be flying together, so that's a fun way to yeah. start. <laughs> Blake is a local pilot buddy who's in about the same place as I am with his instrument flight training. So he joined today to both observe, but also to help out with shooting some B-roll from the back seat. The objective of the flights on Wednesday, from my point of view, uh, is the following. I think there are two pods to iPod flying. The sound wasn't great for this part of the pre-briefing, but I wanted to include it here, so I'll kind of summarize with a voiceover that basically what Osama was saying was the first part of instrument flying is things like scanning the instruments, hand flying, and manually being able to master an instrument approach and keep those needles crossed down to the minimums. The aspect what we're going to focus on is the IFR system aspect. So I don't want you wasting any brain energy on, you know, scanning instruments or hand flying or any of those things, the whole focus is going to be on writing down clearances, yeah. doing the radio work, uh, programming the FMS, anticipating what's coming next, uh, anticipating which approach we're going to be flying when we get to the destination airport, uh, etc. So the flight is going to be to Groton, Connecticut. Uh, I need to do a couple of hours training with another instructor over there. So apparently there's a lot of TBMs out there where we're going and that's the track log from Osama's flight. And then in terms of training wise, I guess the plan that we're going to try to execute at home is going to be to jump in each other's training flights. Yeah. And learn from the other guy making mistakes. And yeah. Then yeah, exactly. And that hopefully save some money and uh, speed up our, tra our learning process because even, even though you're in the back seat, you can still learn a lot by observing and, and yeah. watching. From a workflow perspective, I'm looking forward to riding along in the not hot seat sometimes. Golf X-ray India India ground runway one two wind zero eight zero at six altimeter three zero one four. Taxi via Delta Alpha Bravo contact her one two zero dust one holding short. Okay, to be Delta Alpha Bravo for one two. We'll contact uh, tower holding short X-ray India India. Okay, when usually when you make the call for taxi, you should tell her that you have information, Charlie. Just yep. uh, and we briefed that. We briefed it. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm not I'm gonna be nitpicking uh, yeah, just because I want that. you to be the yeah, best man. pilot you can be. No nitpick, man, it's good. I mean, this is such a great kind of way for me to study and practice. Anyways, it's so privileged to be able to do it in the real airplane. But I'll be doing this stuff at a home sim with Pilot Edge, so I won't be wasting everybody else's time when I'm screwing up. And again, if you've been following the series, you'll know that I've just recently built this pretty awesome home sim, and I'm specifically trying to learn the Garmin 430 with it. Anyway, let's get back on board for a GPS failure. And you can make the call. We're good to go. Yep. 
Oshawa Tower, it's Charlie Golf, X-ray India, India, holding short of 1-2, ready for departure. X-ray India, India Tower, line up and wait, runway 1-2, waiting IFR release. Line up and wait, 1-2, X-ray India, India. Apparently, I don't know why the GPS signal deteriorates, uh, loss of integrity around here. There's something jamming it or something like that. Golf X-ray India, India Tower, through 1,500 feet, contact Toronto Center, 1-3-3-4, wind 080 at 7, clear for takeoff, runway 1-2. Clear for takeoff 12 and we'll contact Toronto uh, climbing through 1500 on 133.4 X-ray India India. Okay, then we have a loss of integrity on GPS. I think it'll go away once we take off. If not, we'll come back with visual. What happened yesterday? After this flight, Osama was able to trace down the problem by contacting the airport manager, who was able to determine that an establishment at the airport had a certain type of equipment that receives and retransmits GPS signals within a building. Obviously the implications are quite significant for this type of problem, but for now it's solved as they've suspended usage of the equipment. And it's not coming back for some reason. Okay. You want to take it and talk to her or? I'll take it and talk to her. Uh, in town from Charlie Golf X-ray India, India. We seem to have a loss of GPS integrity over here. I'd like to uh, return to the airport and land. X-ray India, India Tower, wind 070 at 6. Your choice of runway. Yeah, we'll uh, just do a circuit here for runway 12. X-ray India, India Tower, wind 070 at 6. Clear to land, runway 12. Clear to land on 12, X-ray India, India. Uh, might come back where we're going. Or what do you think? Oshawa Tower, this is off. Uh, I don't know what's causing this, but we don't have GPS right now. And, uh, altitude 2000. I don't wanna. Yep. So the thing that used to say failed is gone, but that's. What is. What are you, how are you seeing it's failed now? Uh, it just. Oh, it came it's back. back. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was. Okay. Taws available. And how it from, uh, Charlie Golf X A India India. Our problem has been resolved now. Is it possible to continue to our destination? Golf X A India India Oshawa Tower, standby. Oh well, it's it's interesting, and now it's all resolved. So uh, I had this happen by the hangar yesterday, but as soon as I taxied away from the hangar, it all came back. Yeah. But today it did Golf not. Golf X A India India Oshawa Tower, left turn heading one eight zero, climb five thousand feet. Left turn 180, climb 5000 XA in the end. Golf okay. X-ray India India Oshawa Tower, stay with me for now. Traffic six and a half miles west of the northwest of the field, overflying the field 2000 feet. Okay, we'll stay with you for X-ray India India. Let me just get a set up for this, and then you can uh, we'll go with Oshawa the additional traffic, climb. Two miles northwest of the field, TBM 2000 feet, climbing 5000 feet. They're just starting their turn southbound now. Oshawa Tower, good morning. 172 Golf Romeo Zulu Delta with Charlie. Okay. We're going to we're heading uh, uh, 180 and climbing to 5000. Your airplane, your radios, okay? Inspection. Okay. 500 feet AGL, 100 feet to the right of the runway center. So she'll hand us off at some point, but we're still with her. She's just coordinating right now. Cleared left base, report adoption base. Romeo Zulu, don't report base. Well, thanks, right. India, India, contact Toronto Center now, 133 4 over to Toronto for 133.4 for Golf X-Ray India India. And Toronto Terminal, it's Golf, Charlie Golf X-Ray India India climbing 5,000 through 4,100. Golf X-Ray India India, Toronto Terminal, Squawk Adent and uh, turn left direct to Rochester on course. Okay, Squawk Adent direct Rochester on course, Golf X-Ray India India. Okay, this is the same... X-Ray India India identified 5,000, the Pearson Altimeter 3014. X-Ray India India. Off kill India, contact... Uh, it's still not saying the 4100 is climbing 5000. Is that what I said last time when I checked in? No. It said climbing 5000 through 4100. I said it backwards? Yeah. Okay. We'll get the hang of it. I'll get there. And then I think it'd be cool if we just do some of our own flights and one and guy's safety pilot under exactly. the hood. Yeah. Are you a fan of the hood or the foggles? I'm a fan of neither of those things. <laughs> I don't know. They we both suck pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can exp experiment with whichever thing works better. Okay. I guess foggles. Yeah, I, mean, think, I want to get my own set, but I don't know what which what I want to do, if it's the hood or the foggles. So. Yeah, maybe we'll go shopping together and get Figure one of out. each or something. Yeah. yeah. Extra Andy, Andy, that's Toronto Center on 124 decimal 9 or 2, and check on with your heading. Uh, 124 decimal, say again for Extra Andy, yeah. 
X Andy Andy, that's one two four nine two one twenty four ninety two. One twenty four ninety two for X Ray Andy India. With the heading, you need to repeat that. And Toronto is Charlie Golf X Ray Andy India climbing or at five thousand uh, heading one zero zero. X Ray India India Toronto Center climb nine thousand and proceed direct Rochester. Okay, we'll climb to nine thousand and head direct Rochester X Ray India India. Roger. Encore three four five eight contact Montreal. One three five zero five. Scroll down to the C one fourteen here. And direct, enter, enter. And navigation uh, mode. Yeah. And it went off now because you changed the heading when we, she gave us the... Oh, we, you pushed heading. I didn't do anything. Wow, okay, it's happening fast. I got a noise canceling on, I forgot to do that. Oh, that's better. All right, yeah, cool, man. I was about to say climbing, it's like, no, we're already there. This thing climbs so damn uh, fast. You're forgetting? That's right, India, India, climb flightable 230. Okay, we're going to climb to flight level 230 for X-ray India, India. Roger. Pull out my initial check and I should have said TBM. Yeah, right. 230. Fun to dial it so far. <laughs> and then... Oh, you're already in the climb mode, 442, right? 442, contact Toronto Center, 1457. That's it for now. Air Canada, 442. X-ray India, India, contact Cleveland Center now on 125.2. 125 decimal 2 for X ray India India. Roger. At Cleveland Center, it's TBM Charlie Golf X ray India India climbing through 11,000 for flight level 230. TBM Charlie Golf X ray India India Cleveland Center. Said it's wrong again. Do I need to say anything else to him? That's it. He's oh. good. What I do? He said climbing through 11,000 for 230. Four is a number. Yeah, okay. You have to say your altitude, climbing or descending, then you have to say the target altitude. Okay. Now, I just need to practice this, do it a hundred times, and then I'll get it locked in. Okay, I need to do some practice over here. At some point, we're expecting to get, what's our maximum altitude? We're going right to the service ceiling, 31? Yeah, uh, 31,000. That's probably the only thing we're going to be expecting to get is him telling us to go over. Encore 3600, re-clear direct to uh, Albany. I can't tell you what to expect. Albany, 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 Albany. It could be anything. We could have uh, a reroute. We could have a reroute. We could have a turn left to right for t heading for, for traffic. Encore 3600, contact Boston Center 127.37. 2737 now, Encore 3600, great. Charlie Goff, X-ray, India, India, turn 10 degrees right. This is vectors around active military space. Okay, we're turning 10 degrees right for X-ray, India, India. Yeah, I just told you, you don't know what to expect. Okay, so we just turned right to 160. I, I acknowledged it, and we're good. But this is, you said, what should we just Sorry, expect? Altitudes, whatever. There you go. 000. You don't know what to expect. You might get a reroute. There's something five, flashing five, on, the, uh, zero, on the PFD. What is that? Uh, the altitude, because we've gone through the standard setting. So I press standard barrow, where is that? Uh, the barrow knob, just push it in. This one? Yeah. There Boom. you go. Alright, cool. That's awesome that it reminds you. And now we have this carrot that shows you what the maximum power is. So if you want to push this very gingerly up to, I would say 115, we don't need to go all the way up. But what am I looking at while I'm pushing it? That, okay. So just the 115. Charlie Goff, X-ray, India, India, climb, maintain, flight level 250. Okay, we'll climb, maintain, 250 for X-ray, India, India. Sample 1596, contact Cleveland Center, 124.32. 2432, y'all have a great day, Southwest 1596. No, 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 no. Turn it off? What yeah. did I do? Okay, you were in climb mode. All I you did, have to I change did. is the altitude. Okay. By pushing altitude, I, you're I commanded to level. Cronus 130, contact Rochester, Thank approach you. 1, I 2, do. I see what they did. I was like, why is the nose going down? Uh, you, have to, you have to, before you touch anything on the autopilot, you have to look at the scoreboard. That's the scoreboard. This tells you what modes you're in. Okay. FLC so, means flight level change. Yeah, feel free to change seats or anything if you want to be more comfortable. If you're good like that, it's all good. Yeah. Bring the show. <laughs> What are you studying for? You're going to 
do a bunch of emergency stuff just for the commercial reg of this thing? Uh, it's a hole, I'll show you. Charlie Goff, X-ray India, India, climb and maintain flight level 310. Climb maintain flight level 310 for X-ray India, India. Air Canada 522, climb maintain flight level 310. And after you put 310, always Canada just remind yourself, look at the scoreboard and see if you're happy with what you see. All right, so right now the FMS is what's controlling where we're going, and the flight level change is what's controlling where we're up altitude. That's what I have to do today. Yes, 2133 Cleveland Center, Roger, working on hire. Oh, that's like a flight test. Naval 7502, direct to the D dubs intersection. That's everything, yeah. Right, D dubs, Naval 7502. At Cleveland Center, it's TBM Charlie Golf X ray India India 26.8, climbing 31,000. Flight level 310. Charlie Golf X ray India India, Cleveland Center. Uh, and the flight levels, you don't say point. It's 268, climbing 310. Uh, 250, climbing 290. But the point was the mistake. I should say climbing. I think what got me was that I didn't know I should round, round down and round up. Flight level 26 or it, do, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be that precise. Okay, that's you what did it for me. I was like, should I say two five level two six? Charlie X-ray India India for direct pony. Direct pony for X-ray India India. At Boston, it's uh, TBM Charlie Golf X-ray India India thirty one thousand. Flight level three one zero. Charlie Golf X-ray India India Boston. How to get that flight level <laughs> fixed? <laughs> Such a weird thing, man. Anyways, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm catching myself instantly, but it's not fast enough. You dial in things while he's saying it to you, and then I, I mean, I have 3,500 hours. It's like it's. I, I do this Spearing without using zero, a lot of zero, brain cells. Oh. He's pretty good though about like letting me do it. Yeah, he's fast to correct yeah. me. There were times when I caught myself, but it didn't matter because he was going to catch me. Yeah, and then and he's fast because he, he said he has almost 3,000 hours. I think he's 3,500. 3, so. Yeah. He's, uh, to him it's like, what yeah. did he say? He can do this without using any brain cells? Not many brain cells. cells. <laughs> yeah. But what is your workflow? Do you dial it in while he's telling you? Or do you? No, I just, uh, I, I just I, remember. I remembered it. Yeah. There's like this time limit in my brain of like, how long I'm going to remember that. 622, where you said I know guys with 20,000 hours that write it down. I think it will be uh, all turning to the south, who you are uh, and how do you operate. Yeah, three miles. Uh, I think I should It'll be, be a short write, line write it down, guys. Uh, five miles. Minimums. Minimums. I think. So those were some of the best learning nuggets from this one. I obviously trimmed a fair bit of the flight, but I hope you enjoyed it. Bald Eagle. Good God. Wow. That was close. That yeah. was close. Good job not flinching. Thanks again to Osama for being willing to put himself out there and be in these videos. And thanks to sponsors and supporters for helping me create the content. It's a lot of work, but I really do enjoy sharing it. It's very rewarding. Airspeed. And until next time. Keep your flight chops sharp.